ilingonal and hypogastric nerve block in transverse abdominis plane. Uh, both these nerves can be blocked uh, using loss of resistance technique, peripheral nerve stimulation, and ultrasound guided. The landmark for uh, this block is the anticipilic spine. And we go 5 cm cranially and then 5 cm posteriorly. At this point, uh, both the nerves are lying in the transverse abdominis plane. One of the commonest indications uh, for this is uh, caesarean section where we have a phenosteal incision. Uh, this incision is lying in the iliogonal and iliohepogastric territory. And like uh, I've explained, the landmark is 5 cm cranially from the antispelic spine and then posteriorly. Uh, when we use a loss of resistance technique, we can use a blunt needle or we can use it uh, a needle through needle technique. In the needle through needle technique we use the introducer and uh, we can actually go uh, through the introducer with a pencil point needle or a blunt needle. Uh, we feel free uh, first pop through the external oblique fascia and the second pop is through the uh, internal oblique fascia and then deposit the local anesthetic. Uh, the other indication is uh, hernia surgery. Uh, again, same landmarks uh, can be used because the uh, incision is in the same territory of uh, L1, L2, that is the lingual and iliohepogastric nerves. Uh, the only other thing is that you need to block the genital femoral nerve, the genital branch of the genital femoral nerve for hernia surgery uh, for complete analgesia. Uh, this is a demonstration of the PNS technique. Uh, the landmarks again antispilic spine 5 cm cranially, uh, 5 cm posteriorly. And at this point, uh, we go through the skin subcutaneous tissue, uh, feel for the pop through the external oblique fascia and then the internal oblique fascia. And as you actually reach the nerves, you will actually see the contractions of the muscles because the iliogonal iliopagastric nerves are motor to the abdominal muscles. They are not only sensory to the inguinal region, but they are also sensory. So what you're seeing is the contraction of the abdominal muscles. And uh, they can extend from T10 to L1 level. So it's a very good block for a inferior umbilical uh, region. Uh, for the ultrasound technique, uh, the probe is placed uh, just above the iliac crest again. Uh, 5 cm cranially to the anticipalic spine, 5 cm posteriorly, and the needle comes from lateral uh, to medial side. I'm going to first show you the sonar anatomy of the uh, region. So you have the skin as a tissue, external oblique, internal oblique, that is the your anticipalic spine, and you can see the nerves and the vessels, that is the uh, deep circumfl uh, circumflex iliac artery. You have to be careful uh, when you're actually doing this block that you do not puncture this uh, artery. And next I'm going to show you the block itself again coming from uh, the lateral to medial side and uh, that is the subcutaneous tissue, external oblique muscle, internal oblique muscle. The nerves are lying on the medial side. I'm going away from the muscle because the local anesthetic is going to actually spread in the plane and uh, block the nerves here. You'll see uh, the local anesthetic around the nerves. You know, uh, yeah. Okay, so that's that's showing the nerves nerves there, which is bathed in the local anesthetic. And there they moved up there. Yeah. Uh, so it's a it's a, a wonderful block. Obviously, for the uh, caesarean section, phenostal incision, you have to block it bilaterally. Uh, but for the hernia surgeries on the side of the uh, hernia. Uh, thank you very much uh, for watching this video.